So what exactly does the government have to gain from journeying through the southern barrens with the blood hoof or the sky chaser tribes? For the answer to that, I turn to Peter Ludlow, professor of philosophy at Northwestern University. Take a look. I don't think so. And that's the danger of this thing is that, you know, I know a lot of people that role play as different, you know, military groups. And, uh, you know, some people role play as as elves, some role play as orcs, and some of them are in there role playing as terrorists and they're, you know, attacking a mafia group and so forth. So if they're in there looking for terrorists and you have these people wearing terrorist garbs and uh, running around as part of their role play, uh, you know, doing, uh, you know, terrorist role play or whatever, I mean, it, 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 it's kind of scary. And there are some games that uh, do, in fact, let you play the terrorist. So obviously, a lot of people play these games. One of the understandings when it comes to World of Warcraft or other digital video games is that there's a lot of other people in there. You can talk to them. You don't always necessarily know who they are. And a lot of people don't take video games very seriously. Is it a big deal that these games were being surveilled at all? Well, it's a big deal in a lot of ways. And one way that I think we should really be thinking about is that what it means is that they're now surveilling every single part of our lives at this point. It's not just our communicating in business and so forth and international communication, but it's actually the stuff we do when we're role playing and having fun and they want to know what that's about. I mean, really, they want to know it's like just getting burrowing into our psychology and understanding like I guess what makes us tick at some deep level. Now some of the country's biggest uh, tech companies have sent out a letter calling for better less invasive surveillance. Is the intentions of all of those companies to protect the customers or to protect their own image in your opinion? Oh it's definitely to protect their own image. I, I mean I don't think there's any doubt about that. It's, 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 you know, one thing that's somewhat disturbing here is that in this particular case, uh, with Second Life, what the chief technology officer of, of Second Life, Corey and Draca, actually went to Fort Meade and had a brown bag lunch with, with the NSA people. And, um, I mean, I, you know, I know Corey, he's a friend of mine, he's a great guy, but this was not a smart thing to do. And then you might say, well, that's just Second Life, those are just Second Life nerds, but I mean, he's working at Facebook now. So the question is, now that he's working at Facebook, is he still doing the brown bag lunches with the people at the NSA? And, you know, I mean, that's a legitimate question that someone should be asking. So are these tech companies calling for anything in specific, anything that could better protect your or my digital privacy rights? I mean, I haven't heard of anything that they're actually doing. All I've heard so far is some complaining. I mean, in a way, it's it's almost like crocodile tears because here Google and Facebook did all this stuff to basically expose everything we do and gather this information. And then all of a sudden they're shocked when it gets into the wrong hands or when they find out that when they find out that the NSA has access to it. I mean, you remember a little while ago when the CEO of Google was saying, well, if you aren't doing anything wrong, you know, why do you care if Google's looking at it? And then he just completely changed his tune when he found out that the NSA was tapping into the sort of Google uh, stream. So uh, what I don't I haven't seen any positive proposal coming out of tech except a lot of of like gnashing of, of teeth and 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 complaining I, mean, I haven't seen a single positive proposal coming out of those guys now one interesting thing that i do want to raise a point that i want to raise is that as soon as the nsa scandal broke it became pretty clear that the director of national intelligence james clap james clapper had actually lied to congress take a look at this yeah. does the nsa collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. Now, these days, the author of the Patriot Act, Congressman James Sensenbrenner, yeah. is calling for Clapper to be prosecuted for lying to Congress. What do you think about those efforts? Do you think they'll actually go anywhere? I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I mean, clearly he lied. Clearly it was contempt of Congress. But people in that position don't get put on trial. They don't, you know, they get a pass. And he probably knew that going in, and that's why people keep lying. And, you know, there's no cost to lying to Congress. If you are in the, 
national defense industry, as it were. Thank you so much for weighing in. On